Hello everyone, it's Tales from Studio Wildfire here, and I have just released for Fantasy Grounds a new little adventure module that you can drop into your games. Now, this is a what I call a map pin, and map pins are the little adventure sites. So they're not exactly an adventure model, like a self-contained adventure path, the whole works. Um, instead, it's an adventure location that you can drop in if you need like a little side quest or you just want to add something to your campaign. So let's have a look at this adventure module. Now it this this one is a if I just find my mice there we go. Uh, this one is a what's called a toll bridge. Now they are in the medieval world a toll bridge or toll road toll location was somewhere that uh, the nobility of the day used to tax traders or merchants or travelers as they entered the empire or the kingdom they would issue them a road toll and the road toll was basically like a tax um, part of the idea was that they would tax them uh, they would charge them a fee to enter the empire to use the empire's roads um, that fee was supposed to go towards maintenance of the roads and uh, security on the roads. That was the idea. But you know, as to whether that was the reality was another thing because there was a lot of skimming, there was a lot of corruption going on. But let's have a look. So to access um, this adventure module, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your library. You'll need to go to modules. You'll need to go to activation and then you'll find it just here and you now I've already loaded it, you'll just click the load button and it'll load into your game. So let's have a look. So in the modules panel, here's the adventure. So it comes with two encounters, two basic encounters. It has a bunch of images, which we'll have a look at. Uh, there's three beastry entries. They're actually NPCs. Uh, there are story entries, which is the the narrative or the story narrative explaining you know what goes on at the place and there's one table which helps you randomly work out whether there's you know someone in a jail cell or not so let's have a quick look at let me just close down the library okay so you would start as the game master you would start off with the story so to to help sort the story from all of the other material that you'll have in your campaign just go to the group so click on the group and go bridge tollgate and that will bring up all of the story entries for the bridge tollgate so there is an introduction which basically says you know, thank you for picking up the tollgate um, it also has a, a a listing like a table of contents that sort of gives you an idea of all the bits and pieces that are in the story narrative and how it all, the, the contents all flows through. And then it's just a case of, you know, start with, just start going through and having a read. There's a, the taxation part, which is the first chapter, gives you a, a bit of a brief history. Um, there's also uh, some Game Master notes and the Game Master notes are distributed all the way through the um, story narrative. As I said, like this is all written to help you use this area, use this location as a an interesting little side quest, or however you want to use it in your campaign. How you use it in your campaign is up to you. Um, but this provides you the entire framework to use it. So there's a little bit of a history about road tolls and taxation in the medieval world, or from the Roman period through the medieval world. Um, gives you a a guide. So, for example, you know, a horse and rider, two copper coins they would charge you. Uh, a wagon, which would probably be a merchant, they're going to charge you four copper coins. Um, if you're taking livestock through um, the toll gate, you know, donkeys, cows, and sheep, half a copper coin per animal. Um, part of another interesting side uh, historical piece of this as well was um, contraband. Um, there was a lot of things that empires made illegal to trade 
to neighboring empires mainly because they were you know they're hostile to each other so there were things like trading things away from the empire that were that was effectively trading the empire's wealth away uh, was was considered contraband and illegal so for example uh, trading salt which was quite a you know a rare commodity back in those days like Roman soldiers were paid in salt so trading salt across empire lines could be confiscated as contraband um, books because <laughs> back in the medieval world ideas were dangerous um, uh, lapis lazuli was you know could be quite illegal to trade across empire lines but also things that made weapons um, were illegal to trade across empire lines so for example iron copper bronze and tin uh, your 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 kingdom could make it could have made it illegal to trade those things so merchants trying to trade those things be, you know you'd be fine trading it within the empire but if you tried to trade it to a neighboring kingdom you know then that's a problem so there's a little bit of a history there on uh, those things which will help you you know run the run encounters there because you would know why the guards are, you know holding up people and going no 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 you can't you can't trade those swords across you know into the neighboring empire because that's equipping our enemies uh, next up we have plot hooks plot hooks are a good way of how to how you could introduce this this location into your campaign if you don't already have some way that you want to use it um, like the the basic the most basic plot hook is traveling between empires you know if you're traveling from one empire to another you're going to go through some sort of um, uh, 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 you know uh, uh, outpost on the border so as we get into the the um, uh, uh, the the area we go to the first the first area description and it gives us the maps so we start with the area map and here it is here it is the bridge toll gate so we have the bridge we have uh, pins that show us all of the you know that link to the story narrative that give us an idea of you know where we are what what happens at these locations who can find there and descriptions so for example if we have a look at the bridge here is the the bridge story narrative so we've got a brief little introduction for our game master who's you know running this area then we have a game master pre-written game master narrative that the game master can read out to their players and then it is followed by you know these are extra little optional bits that explain what particularly happens here for example here on the bridge what happens here on the bridge and in this case there is a patrol during the day there is a soldier who walks up and down the bridge and it gives you a brief little description of the soldier that you can give to your players and even gives you a link out to the description the story narrative description of the tollgate guards which also includes npc data sheets which is the the beastry here we go which incl also includes tokens and I'll have I'll get to the tokens in a moment so that's the the story narrative and the the maps the maps also include if I just turn on here we go includes all of the dynamic lighting so the walls have been added in the doors have been added in so that as your characters go progress through um, it'll light up different rooms as they go uh, so that's so that's that's the ground floor let's have a look at the the next map up so there's only three maps in this one so that's the ground floor there is an upper floor let me just get that bigger oops reset zoom there we go I'll zoom out a bit more so here's the upper floor of the building and as you can see you know there's some beds some stuff going on and again the um, turn on the light so it's all dynamically lit so we can see the candle lights beside the beds there's a candle over here on this table and you can you know you can see out through the windows so you can see so if there was someone down here you'd be able to see them uh, but obviously we're up in a top level of the building go to the underground level and here is the underground
So we've got a, a flooded a flooded chamber over here. We've got a big storeroom. There's the staircase from up above. It comes down to a little room here and a little mini dungeon, which is all explained in the story narrative of, of what happens. And then we've also got, so if we go to the assets, so in the assets, the, we've also included uh, tokens. So if we have a look in the bridge target, so we can see there is a wealth of tokens for the for each of the uh, NPCs that are used in this. So there are the Tollgate Guards, they all use the Guard token because they're all equipped the same. They've all got armor issued from the Empire. So they all look like the same. So you can use the same token for them. Then there is the, oops, if I just go back up. Then there's a version of the soldier or, or the guard when he's off duty. So he's in peasant peasant garb. So he's basically armed with a sword and just, you know, some clothes instead of armed with his armor. And that's the fellow there. So you can, if you put out multiple, you can change the token so that each little fellow has a different look. And that is the, uh, uh, <coughs> pardon me, that is the um, bridge toll gate. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Um, and check out my other bits and pieces as I have more uh, adventure modules coming soon, quite hopefully. Thank you very much.